today off at Let's Get Inky. Hello. And I am also here. And Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't done it a face to face in a while. So long. We have had stuff to haul for a for while. For about six months. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. <laughs> so we're going to film a few haul videos today and yep. space them out over the next couple of months. But today's haul is about art books yeah. and stationery. We stuff. had the most awesome time. The best time. <laughs> so for my, it was my 30th birthday recently yep. and we were child free for the day, which was really nice. Oh. We love them to bits, but you just can't Sometimes you need enjoy, a, an adult day. You can't enjoy bookshops like we used to <laughs> with a two-year-old in exactly. tow. Uh, so we went down to, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Kino, Kino Kunia. Kunia, I think. I think. That's our really bad Japanese really bad. Um, translation. <laughs> but it's a ginormous bookshop and I found out they're all over the place. Yeah, they're yeah, the they're, yeah, they're international. So there might be one cool. here. Not sponsored. It's just no, a cool bookshop. We wish. We did we stumble? No, I think I yeah. started following them on Instagram and then ages ago, and then we accidentally we stumbled, stumbled across, across, it across it because we were looking for somewhere to eat before mm. a Bill Bailey show. Yes, which would be in a vlog ages, ages and ages ago. ago. Yeah. But yeah. So it's an amazing bookshop. It's really large, it and so they've got cool. a great art section with lots of different specific art yeah. bits. So. We're going to do a book haul on my channel and then Aaron got some things too and we'll haul them over on his channel, Inky yeah. Beard. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want to go see that and see what he got. He got some awesome sketching stuff yeah. um, and a little bit of stationery and some cute things for Archie. <laughs> um, but first up, I, I went down there and I wanted to get a specific book, which I'll get to later on. I didn't get it, but... <laughs> I've got something close. I've got something close too, but I wanted to get some books that were kind of a bit, um, a bit about the creative process, and then also just some inspiration stuff. So the first one I got is called "Don't Read This Book: Time Management for Creative People" by Donald Ruse, I think. Uh, and I haven't read it yet, so I, I haven't <laughs> you should read have been the following book. the title a bit too uh, literally. Too literally, but it's a book, and you can work through it. There's like different sections that you can fill in about your own creative process and it talks about how to deal with failure and um, like automating different parts of your creative process. It and... seems really cool because it was kind of like a a good mix between one of those books where you like fill out and do some activity stuff yeah. to try and get you into the process of things. Yeah. But it also has a lot it has of a just a lot of info. You know, info and good like life hacks yeah. and you know, these are some good ideas for organizational stuff. Yeah. So this one will be interesting to read. I've got it next to the bed, so for when I wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> and I can't sleep, I can work and do things. <laughs> so that's the first one. The next one I got was called Observe, Collect, Draw, a visual journal. This one looks real journal. Cool. A visual journal, Discover the Patterns in Your Everyday Life by Georgia Lupi and Stephanie Posevac, I think. There it is. Uh, and this one is more of a, like there's a task on one side and then there's yeah. a space to uh, fill it in and it talks about so if you're interested in self-improvement curious about personal data collection looking to expand your creative outlets and interested in a different way of drawing so this one looks like fun i really liked the the set out of some of the pages i don't know if this is going to you going to be able to I see show any up, of probably this. on camera but um but you can kind of see it kind of see it it was kind of has a pencil drawn quality so that one should be fun. It's cool to kind of get you out of like your comfort zone. Yes. Like it's just yeah. exploring new ways of doing some cool stuff. Creative thinking. Um, next one is one that I've wanted for a while. It's called Craft a Life You Love by Amy Tangerine, okay. um, who I know through the scrapbooking world. That's how I stumbled across her. Um, and she's been talking a lot about her book um, over on Instagram and um, on her YouTube channel. And I've wanted it for ages. Um, but I wanted to see it in person and so this is again another one where you can fill in a lot of information and work through the book and work about um, your creative life. I think that's what it's, I seem to get from the back and I'm you really excited. You can kind of see a little bit of a pattern here through the first few books. Yeah, I was really looking for some creative self-help. 
<laughs> you, it was in a bit was, of a rut. <laughs> there was one section that Adele stayed at for, I want to say, about 45 minutes. I sat on the floor. Least. I sat on the floor and people had to walk around me, but I was really <laughs> in the zone, <laughs> choosing the right book. Um, but I think this, I've really been excited to get this one, so I'm glad that I was able to buy it. And then I, I've been interested in patterns lately. Yeah. I didn't realise, but there was an entire shelf about patterns. This bookshop is amazing. It has this awesome <laughs> section about graphic design. Like, it's not just like a tiny section of bookshelf. It's like an entire, there's shelves and shelves and shelves. Yeah. And so, it's really good for all of this, like, stuff that you wouldn't really think about until you see it. Yeah. And I hate buying books online when I can't flick through the pages yeah. and see what it's like. I Especially this sort of stuff where it's like... You kind of need to see a little bit of what yeah. the book is like first. And especially for the price of some of the books. Like those ones are probably all in the <coughs> 25 to 35 market, I think. Yeah. Um, this one was $80. <laughs> so I'm not buying that online. Bit of a splurge. Yeah. It. Um, but it comes with a disc. And so this one's called Designing Patterns for Decoration, Fashion and Graphics by Lotta Cullhorn, I think. Let's get the glare off the window. Uh, and it talks about, uh, first of all, I just loved the opening page was all hand-drawn floral patterns and that just got <laughs> me immediately. But I thought this was a really interesting book because it talks about different types of patterns and how to um, make repeating patterns. And I think this would be something really handy for um, some designing that I'm doing for Patreon with my Inkly, Ink, Inkly. My monthly, monthly inky <laughs> printable collections <laughs> and some physical products and things that I want to get into. Um, so I thought this would be a good research type book. Then, because I don't have enough of them, I got an art journal book. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's called The World of Artist Journal Pages by curated by Dawn Devry Sokol, I think. And I'm really sorry if I'm butchering, butchering <laughs> any of these names. Um, but this one was really good. I might do a flip through of all of the books so you can see a little bit better. Yeah. Um, but this one just has, like it says, a thousand plus art journal pages. And I thought this would be really handy just to have a flick through when I'm feeling a bit... Unmotivated. Unmotivated. Yeah. And just like or my looking for something out. a little bit different. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's good to just see what other artists have made. Yeah, what colours like, they're using yeah. or... Um, Especially someone who does almost like an exact opposite style to you sort yeah. of thing. Like, and there is a lot of be, that in here. Yeah. So, like this. Really cool. Like that's yeah. very... Very black and white. My style. And of, reminds me a little bit of that, like, Mambo It does remind me of Mambo sort of stuff. Yeah, so this one, it's good, it's chunky, and it was only $30, which I think... Which I was surprised I was really actually. surprised. I thought this would be a $60, $80 type one. Yeah. Then we get into the expensive ones. But it was my birthday present. So I think we've talked about this before on I think we Let's have, Get Inky and other maybe channels and our stuff. podcast, Inky Chat. Yes, Quick I believe we did. If yep. you want more of these shenanigans. <laughs> Speaking of which, we need to do another we one. We do need to do another one. Uh, but I love maps. And <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for artworks that are made out of maps or that are maps. Yeah just really like maps and this bookshop has a section on maps <laughs> on the graphic design of maps <laughs> on, it was not really just, cool not just like the history of maps yeah. but actual making maps so i got really excited because years ago oh it'd have to be 10 years ago yeah because it was 10 years ago. yeah it was back when borders was a thing yeah and um we had a borders near us and it was huge and i found my dream book about maps but it was about a hundred dollars at the time yeah. And I think and I was still like at uni no money. on like a cheap casual job, only working a few hours a week, yeah. so I couldn't get it. And I've never found it since. But I found a replacement. So this one's called Map Mania, and I think it's written all in Japanese. I think, so I don't know who the author is. Uh, but this book is just, if you like maps, this is the book. Yeah, you're going to have to do a little <laughs> flip through of this one because the pictures are amazing. Yeah, so lots of different styles. And even though the writing is majority in Japanese, it's more so the pictures. About the maps, it's anyway, so, yeah. And, yeah, and the different art styles. And 
I'm just really excited to. You can to always get them use that. Um, what's it called? Is Google there an app that you can just put over? Yeah, yeah, it's Google Translate. <gasps> you can just go. video the page and yeah. it translates it on the fly. Technology. Yeah, it's oh, amazing. Amazing. And then the other one that I got <laughs> that was a little pricey. So I think that one was ninety five dollars. <clears throat> This one was more than that, um, but I, I love to, I have a big collection of art books mm. and I love um, collecting books about artists that I like or illustrators that I like. And I didn't realize this dude had a book and did art stuff as well yeah, as illustrating. Yeah, I didn't realize that he had done so much yeah. actual exhibit work. Yeah, so this is um, Oliver Jeffers, I think it's by mm. Oliver Jeffers. Like an audio. I think, thing. or whatever you call it, yeah. I think it is like by an artist. Yeah, um, <laughs> and he he is. Uh, I know him from a children's illustrator point of view because mm. Archie has quite a few books. Archie's favourite book of all time is called Stuck. He's loved that book since forever. Since it was like the first book he ever really, like if that was his book. Yeah. So we read that one every day. <laughs> <laughs> Still, and I love the the style of the illustrations is really very drawn, and um, I just love the just style. Just really his... imaginative, yeah. As well, like it's very, it's not super realistic, but um, it's kind of the way you would see, you know, a kind of childlike, a little bit quirky, yeah. Too. <laughs> uh, and That's so amazing. I I love this book. I did a, if you're a Patreon person, I did a process video using this book as inspiration for oh, right. That's cool. a video at the start of April. Um, so that was what I got book wise. And then <laughs> they have a lovely stationery bit they too. They have an amazing stationery bit. should have section. started this video off saying, I only watch this video if you like a bit of a ramble. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I got some of my Uniball Signo Broad gel pens, which are my favourite white gel pen. I go through them so quickly, so it's always handy to pick a couple <laughs> up. And then I'm trying a Pentel paint marker in white. It was $6. I haven't tried the Pentel brand before, and I seem to just every art supply that I use all the time that I fall in love with gets discontinued. <laughs> so the Gold Hardy Shine, gone. Oh. Um, the Sharpie water-based white extra fine paint pens, Dead. gone. So, look, <laughs> I, if these go, <laughs> we're in trouble. Uh, but I thought I'd give that a try. I also grabbed a 003 Traveller's Notebook uh, insert, just the blank one. And then I discovered, I really like Rhodia. Is it Rhodia? Mm. Is that who you pronounce it? I Paper? think so. I believe so. And these were a really good size and they're graph paper, which I love. Um, 96 pages and they're only $5. And I thought this would be really handy for drawing out designs and because of the graph paper. Um, and because they're only $5, I'm not going to feel scared to use them. To actually I guess get you could in say. And, yeah, just not make it pretty yeah. like it can just be yeah. a functional book yeah exactly yeah. Uh, and then I don't know if my pinhole's been up already that's a video that I've been meaning to edit for a while <laughs> um, but I've been collecting enamel pins and I got these we couldn't ones. go past these they were like right in the entrance way it's that stuff it's that bit they get you just before you the time. counter <laughs> and we were like oh, pins <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little composition notebook a pencil a date stamp and a library card so yeah. I couldn't not get those so that was our adventures at the bookshop yeah. for my birthday. Yep. Um, so make sure you head over to Inky Beard and check out what he got. It's Quick all little there in front. Uh, and I will be filming an art stuff haul very soon yep, as well. So keep your cool. eyes out for that. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.